Did you get the cost back? You must have done. Uh, it's not really resolved yet. There's still like an, still, and it is an interim junction in place on some, up, some other points. Um, but they're looking at an interim thing, and it is. You've got to be careful what you say. Just a, a little bit. Can't mention any money. What? Well, we're going to. Oh, Paul, it's a joke. Oh, that won't deter us. Absolutely, every single one of you that came out today, everyone has behaved impeccably. It's been such a wonderful sight. I was trying to look straight forward as we were marching, but I couldn't help keep turning around to see our beautiful flags being held high by so many British patriots. So thank you all for coming and well done to you. self-serving career politicians. We want our country back from the Islamic extremists in every town and city under country, the Muslim grooming gangs, the radicalization that's going on all across the country. We want our country back. We're a minority in London now, thanks to immigration, mass immigration that is increasing all the time. Don't listen to the figures the politicians give you because they're wrong.
next generation of our people, there won't be a Britain left. Our country is facing extinction. We got 75% of our laws made by the European Union. Mass immigration. We've seen the chaos in Calais. We've seen the poor truckers at Dover with the immigrants coming out of their lorries. It's an invasion. Okay, they might not be carrying guns, they might not have uniforms, but it's an invasion Correct. of our sovereign territory and Correct. we have got to stop it, otherwise we will become a minority in our own country. Yeah. Yeah. who came home to Luton after doing some filming abroad and was sickened to see a protest being carried out on the streets of Luton where Islamic extremists and those who claimed they weren't extremists were marching through the streets of Luton saying British police burn in hell. I wonder what this lot think about that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Stacey Dooley get launched at by a load of Muslims in burqas, Muslim women in burqas saying that she needed to cover up. This is Britain. We do not put our women in burqas in this country. government. They want Sharia law governing the UK. How many of you are going to stand for Sharia law governing this country? We've seen Saif al-Islam, the notorious extremist. This is his hometown. Let me tell you something. This man who is linked with terror should have been deported, not banged up. If these people support extremist regimes, then send them to go and live with ISIS. Yeah. Much like the female jihadist from this town who has just been sentenced, she herself had the audacity to say she would rather live anywhere than Britain. This woman is claiming benefits and housing in this country and tweeting to millions, encouraging extremism. I tell you what, why doesn't she take her burqa and her extremism and bugger off to ISIS because we don't want her. So, yeah, sure. Right, yeah, I just wanted to film this message while we're marching back to the station. Um, basically, the police are directing us back a different way, which takes us past uh, anti-Britain first protesters. Now, the reason they've done this, in my opinion, is because they're trying to generate disorder. So I wanted to get this on camera so that we can submit it possibly to our legal uh, representatives. Just so explain, we do not want to go back past the station, we want to go back the way we came. 
We don't know why they're taking us past the opposition, uh, but it's very, very uh, worrying indeed. Because if we go past them, there could be trouble. So I don't know why they're doing it. I just want it on record. Okay, Jada? Yeah, yeah.